24th and 25th at the Island Grove Regional Event Center in Greeley, Colorado. Carter Farm Show brochures are available ringside or at the announcer stand. Complete details are also online at carterfarmshow.com. We'll get started with our Shorthorn Plus show. Coming into the ring at this time would be our first class of late spring heifer calves. While our first class gets set to walk into the ring, we'll take this time to introduce our judge for today's contest. Our judge is Mr. Callahan Grund. He's originally from Sharon Springs, Kansas. He's had a passion for cattle ingrained into him at a young age as he grew up on a registered Gelvy balancer and Angus seed stock cow-calf cow operation. He remains highly involved in his family's ranch today. Grund judged at Fort Scott Community College on the 2016 Team of the Year where he and an All-American Grund went on to judge at Kansas State University where he was named a member of the Reserve National Champion Team and was an All-American while winning high individual honors at the American Royal and second high individual in cattle at the national contest. Today, Grund serves as the Executive Director at U.S. Cattle Trace. He and his wife, Emily, reside in Wamingo, Tech, excuse me, Wamingo Kansas, where they run a small balancer and Hereford seed stock operation. We appreciate Mr. Callahan Grund judging today's Shorthorn Show. So in the ring at this time is class number one. These are late spring heifer calves. We'll have an entry 1991 from Harley Holman of Garber, Oklahoma. We have entry 1995 from Liv Jerviscus of Grove, Oklahoma. We have entry 2448 from Bianca Wood of McCook, Nebraska. And we have entry 1966 from Keelan Cahoon of Charlotte, Montana. This completes class number one, the four entries that make up your late spring heifer calves. really jet level up through her, her top line and, and feminine up through her front end was still having probably the most genuine body shape when you study her down low there as well I like the way that she gets out and moves and travels off of her hip and hind leg I like to see her relax in that angle of her shoulder a little bit and down into her knee ideally but one that I think still gets around plenty good enough love the body and the look that this female has now the black heifer falling up here in second certainly has a lot of shape and power to her I love the foot and bone that she has and the stoutness of feature um, one that certainly gives you a decent enough look there for the side from for all the stoutness and power she has I'd just like to see her a little bit bolder in that lower body I think that'll come with some time and maturity there but a big footed stout made type of female there we like those things about her same thing with the black and white heifer coming next you love the shape that this heifer has especially when you study her up high and get in 
in from behind on her. Another big footed type of one there. She gets a little more rocked forward in the shoulder in her angle there. Maybe just doesn't uh, move as smooth around the ring there, and, and just need to see her dropped in her flank. But one that you love the stoutness of feature. I think with some time and maturity, this one's got the grow and performance to go and, and mature into a nice female for this young lady. The blue roan fa finishing out the class. Certainly a big footed, uh, shapely type individual there. One that we just like to see maybe a little more maternal in her makeup there. One if we could just soften her up in her center body there, make her more coordinated off both ends of her skeleton, that help her. But you love the bone and the stoutness of feature that this female has. Really nice way to start off the Shorthorn Plus. Let's give all those individuals another round of applause. Your results for the first class in your Shorthorn Plus show in fourth place, entry 1991 from Harley Holman. Third place goes to entry 1995 from Liv Jerviscus. Second place goes to entry 24, excuse me, 2048. That is going to be Bianca Wood of McCook, Nebraska. And your class winner is entry 1966 from Keelan Cahoon. Because the class was the only class within the division, your first and seconds within that class will become your late spring heifer champion and the second place becomes your reserve champion, late spring heifers. At this time, we'll now bring in to the ring class number four on the program. This will be your early spring heifer calves. We'll have four entries within this class. We have entry 2010 from Reese Locke of Sterling, Colorado. We have entry 1945 from Mesa Arnold of Hudson, Colorado. Entry 1975 from Addison Dickens of Jackson, Ohio. And we have entry 1981 from Carly Goetz of Oak Harbor, Ohio. This completes class number four in the program of your early spring heifer calves. Well, another nice class of April females here and some give and take and some sizes and performance here. But I think the one that hit me the hardest when she came in the ring was the young lady's uh, black heifer here. Uh, when she gets her parked on the side, she certainly gives you a really nice look. 
big bodied and still feminine up through that front end. I'd maybe like to redesign her skeletally. She gets kind of in, but it hocks in when you study her from behind and wants to pull her hind leg underneath of herself. I think she skates around the ring plenty good enough in terms of this class compared to the contemporaries out here. But a big bodied, high performing type of female there that certainly gives you a nice silhouette there from the side. Uh, the blue roan, uh, uh, excuse me, the white roan coming up here next and second. Certainly a big footed stout made one, uh, one that gives you a good look up through her front end, very feminine there. One that's probably a little shorter in her cannon bone, a little early maturing type of female when you study her um, for a long term growth pattern there. But a big bodied, you know, moderate, easy doing type of female there, I think still gets, uh, gets out and goes, just gives up some performance and look when you compare it to the one directly ahead of her. The blue roan coming out here in third, certainly a, a feminine made type female there. One that's certainly long bodied and, fly, and gets out and goes. Plenty good enough for me. Probably gives up some foot and bone and you study her. would like to see her a little more relaxed on her rear pasterns there. But one that I think has got a little bit more grow and mature when you study her uh, and the, the length and body that that one has. I think that'll make a nice project for that young lady heading into the future. And probably the biggest framed higher performing uh, heifer coming out here, rounding out the class. Certainly you love the length of body and the smooth made look that this female has. We just need more heifer here today when you study her. Uh, she's too shallow and hard in her center body there, I think, with some time and maturity on feet. I think that one uh, uh, gives you a nice look from the side. The young lady does a nice job trying to get her stuck there. Uh, she's given the young lady a little bit of fits there, but certainly a long bodied, uh, a smooth made type of female there rounding out this class. Let's give this second class of Shorthorn Plus females another big round of applause. Your results for class number four in the program of early spring heifer calves within your Shorthorn Plus show in fourth place, entry 1975 from Addison Dickens. Third place goes to entry 1945 from Mesa Arnold. Second place goes to entry 2010 from Reese Locke. And your class winner, entry 1981 from Carly Goats. Coming into the ring at this time is now class number five. This is early spring heifer calves. Within class number five, we will have an entry 1951 from Anna Lynn Beach of Palmyra, Nebraska. Entry 1943 from Emma Arnett of Brookville, Ohio. Entry 2001 from Hudson Lane of Yucca, Oklahoma. And we have entry 1993 from Roma Ensico of Wheat Ridge, Colorado. These are your four entries that make up class number five of early spring heifer calves. Well, a really nice heifer that starts off our, our third class here, the Marchborns. I think one that uh, does so pretty handily in this class, one that balances up extremely good from the side, really jet level, ties her neck in high out of the top side of her shoulder there. Still has the bone and the footness, uh, the bone and the stoutness, a feature that I like in my females and still has a lot of bold body shape there. Uh, one that I think uh, does so rather handily, a nice female there for that young lady. 
The decision for me is between second and third. I could see this pair flip-flop later this summer for these guys. Uh, young man's a black heifer here, certainly a bold-bodied, uh, stout-made type individual that's got some big upper hip in her and, and still got some stoutness of feature. Just gets a little more uncoordinated in the way she's put together skeletally. She gets a little straighter up through her front end, wants to duck her pins and pull her hind leg underneath of herself. Uh, but one that's certainly bold-bodied and you love the, the stoutness of feature that that one has. Uh, you, you know, I think uh, one that offers a lot of good in that regard but uh, I could see this pair flip-flop, the, the red roan later this summer, this red roan, certainly a long-bodied, uh, feminine individual that gets around the ring and skates pretty well um, when she reaches out and flexes off both ends. One that I just need more body today is some more genuine body shape down low. I could see that pair flip-flopped, uh, but one that's certainly green and got a really bright future ahead of her later mature and long-bodied, feminine-made individual there. Three really nice females in that class. Let's give them all another big round of applause. Your results for class number five. In third place, entry 1951 from Annalyn Beach. Second place goes to entry 2001 from Hudson Lane. And your class winner is entry 1943 from Emma R. Nett. At this time, we'll now bring back our first and seconds from classes four and five, and our judge will select your champion and reserve champion early spring heifer calves. Returning from class number four, in first place, entry 1981 from Carly Goats. Second place from class number four would be entry 2010 from Reese Locke. And returning from that last class, we will have entry 1943 in first place, Emma Arnett. And second place, class 2000, or excuse me, class number five, entry 2001 from Hudson Lane. These are the four animals in contention for your grand and reserve champion, early spring heifer calves. Well, in our early spring heifer calf uh, division here, four really nice females that come back out here in contention for me. I think uh, some give and take between both of these class winners out here, and I think that's where the decision lands for me. To me, it's a skeletal decision. One that's, One's a little square out of her hip, uh, and it went from hooks to pins and the way that she hinges there. They're both a little narrower pinned when you study them from behind and want to hock in when they get out and travel, but one stays a little more coordinated in her top line and uh, you know, square from hooks to pin. So when you set her out and go, young lady right here will be her champ young lady up front will be reserved let's give him another big round of applause Your champion early spring heifer calf comes from class number five. That is entry 1943 from Emma Arnett. Your reserve champion early spring heifer calf comes from class number four. That is entry 1981 from Carly Goats. At this time, we will get our ring reset and we'll start up with class number eight. These will be junior heifer calves. We'll have three entries slated for class number eight in the program. We'll have entry 1974 from Addison Dickens of Jackson, Ohio. Entry 1980 from Isabel Gilliard of Stevensville, Montana. And we'll have entry 2050 from Alexis Wright of Philippi, West Virginia.
Well, a really uh, striking individual here, one that uh, hits you extremely hard when she comes into the ring, uh, you know, in terms of the cow power and broodiness look that she has, and yet so elegant and uh, feminine up through her front end. I love the way that this one reaches out and goes when you set her into motion, just it remains so collected in her top line, huge bodied, and you even study her on paper there, uh, really consistent all the way across the board, a really, really nice individual to start this class. Young ladies have her coming here in second, certainly an intriguing one as well. Uh, big footed stop made type individual just need to relax her in her angles a little bit up to her knee and front end and and just let her relax right there in her top line she wants the dish in her loin when you set her into motion but still an easy flesh and uh, big body type individual there um, that certainly has got a bright future for this young lady heading into this next show season uh, you like the color that this one has she hits you hard when she comes into the ring from that respect highly presented Young ladies have her rounding out the class. Certainly a long-bodied, high-performing type individual there. One that certainly uh, uh, you like the length of body and the smooth look that she has. Just need more cow here today when you study her. Need to see her boulder and her center body there. She just gets too flat and shallow when you study her there. Wants to hock in from behind. Just let her get out and go and, and, and get it, put a feed bucket in front of that one for this next show season. I think she's got a bright future. Certainly a greener one in this class. You like the length of body and the smooth look she has. Another nice set of, uh, of females there. A nice one that starts that class. Let's give him another round of applause. Your results for class number eight of junior heifer calves in third place, entry 1974 from Addison Dickens. Second place, entry 1980 for Isabel Gilliard. And your class winner, entry 2050 from Alexis Wright. At this time, we will clear the ring and bring in class number nine. These will be junior heifer calves. We'll have a total of four entries within class number nine. We'll need entry 1970 from Kaysen Carlson, entry 2020 from Gentry Remy, entry 1988 from Emma Helsinger, and we'll need entry 1944 from Mesa Arnold. These are the four entries that make up class number nine of junior heifer calves within your Shorthorn Plus show.
little more challenging class as you get down in the order, but I think one I never wavered from was this black heifer here, one that uh, easily hits you as the most maternal when you get her out here and on, on the stand and on the move. Um, one that's really, <coughs> excuse me, really bull-bodied and still feminine up through her front end. She gets out and goes uh, uh, good enough for me out here. Hip and hind legs really good when you set her into motion. Uh, she wants to get a little more rock forward in her shoulder of an angle, but that's getting pretty nitpicky out here. I think this is easily the most complete, most maternal looking one out here when you study her, especially when you compare it to her contemporaries. A nice place to start. For me, the decision was between second and third, and it, it's more long-term future. I'm trying to read in these females here. Uh, you know, the yellow heifer it's a, it's, it becomes a structure decision for me, uh, and the yellow heifer excels in that regard. She does reach out with more flexibility and ease and, and covers her track with more comfort uh, as she gets out and goes. You know, when you study her at times, you, you wonder if she has enough body when you study her. The young man gets her parked on the profile. I think she's got enough body shape there as she matures with some more time on feet. I think that depth of body, that swoop will drop as well. She's a long-bodied, nice-looking individual there that just gets out and flexes a little more on ease. Uh, this young lady puts this red roan heifer together really, really well on the stand. A moderate, big-bodied, stout-footed, stout-featured individual there and gives you a really, really nice look. It's just when we set this one into motion, she gets a little straighter in her lower joints when you study her there. If we could just let her relax her and let her get out with more flex and ease and comfort when on the move, I think that pair of flip-flops pretty handily for me because I do love the moderation, the body, and the stoutness of feature that that one has. Uh, one that'll have some nice breeding pieces on down the road. And then the red roan clo closing out the class here, one that's certainly moderate it and got some shape up high. We just need to see her with more body and more comfort off both ends when you set her out there. Uh, I think you fix those two things about her. I think that would help her, but a nice green made individual for this young lady that'll be a fun project for her uh, later on this summer. Let's give all these individuals another big round of applause as they exit the ring. Your results for class number nine of junior heifers in fourth place, entry 1944 from Mesa Arnold. Third place, entry 1988 from Emma Helsinger. Second place goes to entry 1970 from Kaysen Carlson. And your class winner is Gentry Remy. At this time, we will now bring back our first and seconds from classes number eight and nine, and our judge will select your champion and reserve champion junior heifer calves. Well, we turn the heat up here as we get into our junior heifer calf champion here and uh uh, really nice classes all the way throughout both of these two classes, uh, uh, but I think two really, really nice class winners when you get them out here. I think when you compare them to each other, they could look pretty similar there on the stand. Still both big bodied maternal type individuals with a lot of length and grow and performance to each one of them as well. You can get kind of nitpicky between the two of them. One of them to me, I think, just remains so much more comfortable in her top line. She's got a big old high, hind leg in her that can reach out and go. Probably just a little more coordinated and through her front shoulder when she gets out on the move and, and ties a higher slimmer neck out of the top side of her shoulder that's not taking anything away from uh, uh, the other female out here because I think she puts together a very very balanced maternal look there as well I think will make make an excellent cow there as well young lady right here will be your champion young lady here will be second uh, let's give them all another big big round of applause your champion junior heifer comes from class number eight that is entry 2050 from Alexis Wright your reserve champion junior heifer comes from class number nine, that is entry 2020 from Gentry Remy. We will clear the ring and we will get started with class number 12 in the program. This will be winter heifer calves. We have a single entry within this class. It'll be entry 1994 from Grove, Oklahoma from Liv Jerviscus.
single entry here in our winter heifer calf division. A nice red roan. I think that you like the length of body that this female has, and she's good in her lower joints when you, she gets set her into motion from her hock and rear pastern there. Maybe want to square up in the way she hinges from her hooks to pasterns and give her a little more lower body, but you love the length of body and the feminine look that this female has up through her front end. Really, really nice single entry here for this young lady. Let's give her a round of applause. Results from class number 12 in first place, entry 1994 from Liv Jervicious. At this time, we'll bring in now class number 13 of senior heifer calves. We have a single entry within this class. We have entry 2046. This will be from Anita, Iowa, from Landry Will. This is the only entry within class number 13. Another single entry here, nice red roan, really maternal female here, a deep bodied, moderate individual that's got some stoutness of feature. She balances up really nice there from the side. We'll bring her back in here just for a second for the division. Uh, let's give them all another, let's give her another big round of applause as she exits the ring. The results for class 13 of senior heifer calves in first place, entry 2046 from Landry Will. At this time, we'll now bring back into the ring our winner from class number 12 of Winter Heifer Calves. We'll have entry 1994 from Liv Jervicious return in. Our judge will now select your champion and reserve champion, Senior Heifer Calves. Now we're going to take the two single entries and uh, compare them to each other here for our division champion reserve. I think uh, as you compare them out here, one of them is just a little more maternal, deeper bodied for me, and still uh, uh, puts together a really, really nice balance look from the side. Young ladies have her, certainly got a feminine look to her, but uh, for me, the, uh, the, the, December, the October right here is going to be our champion this division. The December will be reserved. Let's give both these young ladies a big, big round of applause. Your champion senior heifer calf comes from class 13, that is entry 2046 from Landry Will. Your reserve champion, senior heifer calf, comes from class number 12, that is entry 1994 from Liv Jervicious. We will now clear our ring and we'll get set for class number 16 within the program. This will be late spring yearling females. We'll have two entries within class number 16. We have entry 1960, Adrian Brown, and we have entry 1982 from Carly Goats. These are the two entries that will make up class number 16. This is the only class within the division. So first and second within class number 16 will become your champion and reserve champion intermediate females.
little more challenging here, I think, between this pair of females. Uh, actually some females that share some similar challenges, but uh, some females that share, share some positives there as well. I think it just kind of depends on where you want to lay your priorities into it. One of them gets out and goes a little more flex and ease in, in terms of her top line and the way she uses her hip and hind leg, the way she's squared up there. The other one gives you probably a more feminine look up through her front end when you get her parked on this on the side profile there. You know, to me, I think it, it's a close call between the two. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't harm you if you went either way with them. I'll start off this young lady's heifer right here. One that's probably probably just a little more elegant up through her front end when you get her on the standstill. They're both comparable in terms of the amount of body they have, and they're both good in terms of their lower joints when you set them into motion. This female does get a little more rounder in the way that she uses her hip and hind leg and wants to toss her hind leg just a little more uncoordinated outside of herself on the go, uh, but one that's certainly elegant through her front end. You love the length of body that this female has. Uh, those are some good positives this one has as she exits the ring there. Young ladies here in X and second does remain more collected in her top line when she gets out and goes probably square in the way she travels from hooks to pins a little truer in the way she uses her hind leg at the ground one that certainly uh, maybe gets a little shorter in the way that she is up to her front end a little stouter about her head and neck there uh, one that certainly if we could just get blow her apart body wise and match some of that stoutness a feature there I think we could stand to, to move her up in this class want two really nice females there for these young ladies let's give them both a round of applause as they exit the ring Your results for class 16 in second place and your reserve intermediate champion female. Entry 1960 from Adrian Brown. Your class winner and champion intermediate female. Entry 1982 from Carly Goats. We'll clear the ring and get set for class 19 in the program. These will be early spring yearling females. We have three entries in class 19. We have an entry 1965 from Keelan Cahoon. Entry 1973 from Tyler DeGroote, and entry 1953 from Madeline Berg. This is the only class within the division, so first and second within class number 19 will become your champion and reserve champion early spring females.
Boy, I hate beating any of these three females in here. You got about each type for me out here, and I, I like all three of these, but extremely, extremely good. Uh, for me, the, the, the black and white heifer, when she hit the ring here, I went, wow, there's the cow. Moderate, big bodied, still good looking up through that front end. For as much mass and volume and dimension that this female has, she gets out and moves extremely, extremely well. Remains probably more collected in her top line when she gets out and goes compared to the one right directly behind her. Maybe not as uh, jet level or cool looking up through her front end either, but still really balanced and feminine up through that front end. A nice cow prospect there, I think, uh, as you study them there, a nice complete female. Now she does get a little softer in her rear pasture, and that's where I like this one here in second. One that certainly gives you such a cool trendy look from the side really good up through her front end stout featured at the ground there um, big hipped when you get in from behind and still gives you plenty enough body I think when you get off from the side for me she can just get up a little bit up in her tail head when you compare her to the one ahead of her directly ahead of her um, when you compare them but one that's a really really big footed stout made individual there that still gives you a good look up through that front end now this heifer coming out in third I love a big stout one as much as the next guy you love the bone and the feature that this one has and you know she's still balanced in the way that she looks up through her front end is she as feminine or cool looking up through her front end as the other two no but for me I think the balance look that this one has is really good and for the amount of stoutness of features she has as well uh, I think those are all really really impressive things maybe one that just doesn't get out and just skate with the comfort and ease as the other two but I wouldn't call her unsound by any means for all that stoutness and, and power and dimension you know you like those things about her three extremely high quality individuals there um, all could stand some good competition and could be a mix matched any other way. Let's give all those exhibitors and breeders a big, big round of applause for a high quality trio. Your results for class 19 of early spring yearling females in third place, entry 1973 from Tyler DeGroot. In second place, your reserve early spring champion female, entry 1965 from Keelan Cahoon. And your class winner and becoming your champion early spring female, entry 1953 from Madeline Berg. We will now bring into the ring class number 22 in the program, which is your junior yearling females. We have two entries within this class. We'll have an entry 1949 from Alia Beach and entry 1964 from Keelan Cahoon. These two entries make up class 22. These are the two entries within the class, the only class within the division. So therefore, first and second within this class will become your champion and reserve champion, junior females. Well, nice pair of females in our last division here. I think this one, yes, young ladies have for right here, I think gives you a really, really nice look from the side. One that's extremely balanced and feminine and bold bodied there. Still in extremely, extremely good shape for, I think, this late in, the, in her show career, getting ready to be turned out to be a cow. I love the balance look she has, gets out and goes plenty uh, comfortable enough for me. A nice place to start. Young ladies have her here in second, certainly a long bodied female. You love the, the extension she has up through her front end. Just need to see her a little more coordinated than the use of her off both ends just need to see her stouter there at the ground but one that's got certainly enough body and length of body there and a feminine look up through her front end make an excellent cow for this young lady let's give all these exhibitors another big big round of applause as we come back in for our grand drive your results for your class 22 of junior yearling females in second place 1949 and your reserve junior champion female is Aaliyah Beach and your class winner and your champion junior female entry 1964 from Keelan Cahoon. At this time, we will now bring back all of our division winners for our judge to select your grand champion and reserve grand champion, Shorthorn plus females.
your champions returning for consideration for your grand champion from our late spring heifer calf division. We have entry 1966 from Keelan Cahoon. Your champion returning from your early spring heifer calf division, entry 1943, Emma Arnett. Returning for your junior heifer calf division, your champion entry 2050 from Alexis Wright. Returning for your senior heifer calf division, your champion entry 2046 from Landry Will. Returning from your intermediate champion female division, entry 1982, Carly Goats. Returning from your early spring champion female division, champion is 1953 from Madeline Berg. And returning from your junior champion female selection category, entry 1964 from Keelan Cahoon. These are your champions in contention for your grand champion Shorthorn plus female. Now coming into the ring would be the reserve champions in contention for the reserve grand champion Shorthorn Plus Female. From the first division of late spring heifer calves, we have returning entry 2048, that is Bianca Wood. Returning from your early spring heifer calf division, entry 1981, Carly Goats. Returning from junior heifer calf division, entry 2020 from Gendry Remy. Returning from your senior heifer calf division, Reserve is Liv Jervicious. Returning from your intermediate female division, entry 1960, Adrian Brown. Returning from your early spring champion division, entry 1965 from Keelan Cahoon. And the final reserve returning in consideration for the reserve grand would be your junior champion reserve. That is entry 1949 from Aaliyah Beach. Well, an extremely high quality uh, Shorthorn Plus show here this morning. Let's give all these exhibitors a big, big round of applause. Not overwhelming in terms of our numbers here this morning, but the quality ran really, really deep all the way throughout these calf classes and up into the big breads. I, I think the, that's something to be commended on for you juniors and your uh, your support system back home, certainly your uh, your feeders and, and your families and your breeders there as well. Um, really, really high quality set all the way throughout. The red heifer in that young late class certainly comes out and gives you a really nice striking look there. As we talked about early in the day, uh, maybe you could redesign her and set her back the angle of her shoulder. Her knees give her, gives her enough comfort there that I think she's going to be okay long term. Certainly a bold bodied feminine individual. I think that'll be a fun one for that young lady down the road. Heifer out of the second division is a big footed stout made one. Uh, you like those pieces about her, bold bodied and get, gives you a lot of feature. Maybe not as neat looking up through her front end as we study her compared to some of these other ones out here. Maybe not as good and up through her front shoulder angle but you love the stoutness of feature and the bold shape that that one certainly carries the heifer out of the third division gives you a striking elegant look there for <coughs> excuse me from the side one that's really feminine up through her front end bold bodied and skates around here really really comfortable when you set her into motion one that certainly I think with some time and maturity is going to be a big old high performing bread for that young lady down the road 
The young the Red Roan coming out next, certainly another big-footed stout made one. There was only two in that division, but you love the stoutness, the feature that that one has, and the, the maternal body that that one carries. Certainly going to make a nice cow for that young lady down the road. As we get into some of these big breads down here, the black heifer coming next, certainly a long-bodied one that gives you a nice, elegant look up through her front end. Just maybe doesn't carry that same body shape and depth that we need when you study her compared to some of the younger ones or older ones, especially for this stage of her uh, being bred as a big bread. Uh, the black and white one coming next, we talked about that class and division it's, uh, as well. Really deep, deep one there. Bold bodied cow -y looking one there that's still so elegant up through her front end and fresh at this stage in the game. And then the last bread as she comes back out here and, and gets against some of the other competition. You love the length of body and the maternal look that she carries all the way throughout. Guys, each one of these division champions and, uh, and some reserves out here I, I think are really, really high quality. I'm going to go out and select you a champion. We'll bring the reserve up for consideration. But once again, let's give all these juniors another big, big round of applause and a high-quality set of Shorthorn Plus females. Your grand champion Shorthorn Plus female comes from your early spring champion division. That is entry 1953 from Madeline Berg. Rolling into consideration would be the reserve from that division. Entry 1965 from Caitlin Cahoon. Your reserve champion, Shorthorn Plus Female, comes from your third division. That is your champion, Junior Heifer Calf, entry 2050 from Alexis Wright. Congratulations to our grand and reserve champions. At this time, we will be pausing for a picture break at the backdrop. We'll have Legacy Livestock Imaging back there taking official photography for the National Western Stock Show, and we'll get started back up here within our Shorthorn Show after conclusions of our pictures. Well, good morning. It's uh, certainly a pleasure to be out here on the limousine side, uh, really looking forward to the show. And we start off with a really nice single entry purebred heifer, just a May heifer calf, but one that has a lot of body. I know she's not wanting to relax out here, but when she does stop, she gives you an awesome look of balance. Her necktie's on the top of her shoulder. She's really strong and long down her top line and out of her hip. I like the use of her hip and her hind leg, maybe a little straighter up front. Uh, I don't think it's causing a huge issue. A great way to get us started off. Congratulations. Over within your limousine show, your results for the first class of female division limousines. We have entry 1627 from McKinley Palmetary from Duran, Oklahoma. In the ring at this time is now going to be class number two We'll have a single entry within this class entry, 1628 from Jordan Marie Jones. Another really nice single entry, April Heifer here. Love her length of body, her length down her top line, really a long-hipped kind of a heifer. She sets down on a massive bone and foot for just a heifer calf here. I like her smoothness from her shoulder into her body and out of her hip as well. Maybe could clean her up and just freshen her up about her head down into the base of her chest there, uh, but really like this heifer from the side, especially in terms of her length and extension. Your results for class number two, 
of your female Division I limousines. First place, entry 1628 from Jordan Marie Jones. In the ring at this time is now class number three. We'll have a single entry within class number three as well. This is entry 1629 from Macy Wilkins. Another really nice single entry heifer calf. As you watch her come in, I love her skeleton. She's so sound. I like the angle to her shoulder and her knee. Her hip and her hind leg read extremely long term. She reaches and strides very aggressively. There's a lot of power in this February heifer calf as well. She balances good from the side. Her neck sits on the top of her shoulder, maybe a little more leather down into her chest. Uh, again, it, she still balances really good. Love that heifer skeleton. Congratulations to that young lady. Your results for class number three within your limousine show. In first place, entry 1629. At this time, we have brought back our first place entries from classes one through three. Our judge, Miss Kendall Reitzenstein, will select our champion and reserve champion division one limousines. Really a great way to get us started off. And three single entry heifers, and honestly, they're nice now, but I think they're just going to keep progressing for these exhibitors because there's certainly a lot of quality. The white flanked heifer here that's circling of the trio is probably just the neatest from the profile in terms of balance, her head, her neck, down into the base of her chest. Really like her down her top line and her length out of her hip. In motion, and I mentioned it in class, a little straighter up front and the angle to her shoulder and her knee, and consequently maybe gets a little up in her top line in motion as we get to get to breaking them down I love that heifer's outline or balance and like I said ahead of her shoulder her head and her she does have that advantage in this particular division. The heifer of the second class, real long-sided. The longest hipped, longest down her top of the trio. Really like that thing about her. She's stout at the surface in terms of bone work and feature. You know, relative to her extra extension, we could soften her up down into the base of her body and maybe just freshen her up or about her head and her neck there. But from that point back, I love her down her top, love her extra extension and her power at the ground. The heifer that won the last class, the oldest class, out here. Her skeleton is really good. It really uh, long term uh, in terms of her hip and her hind legs. She balances really nice from the profile when the young lady stops her down her top line and out of her hip. She's a powerful female as well. She's maybe just a little plainer down into the base of her chest. Again, I don't think it's uh, too big of an issue because her neck still sits on the top of her shoulder. And like I said, her skeleton is really good. This is an awesome way to get us started off here in the Lemmy Show. Let's go ahead and congratulate Congratulate these kids. We'll get you a pair of division winners. Your division one limousine champion comes from class number three. That is entry 1629 from Macy Wilkins of Lamar, Arkansas. Your division one limousine reserve champion comes from class number one. That is entry 1627 from McKinley, Palmetary of Durant, Oklahoma. We'll clear out our ring and we'll get started with class number four, our division two limousine females. We'll have a single entry within class number four. This is the only entry within the class, the only class within the division. So we'll have entry 1630 from JC Smith of Decatur, Arkansas.
couple of really nice fall single entry and automatic division winner. A lot of power in this November heifer. You get in behind her and steady her out of the base of her shoulder and up high. She really transitions into a stout and powerful hip. I like that about her. You know, she's moderate and sensible in her size. I, I like that too. Uh, she's got some body shape, some body turn and cavity. As you watch her come in, we could relax her in her spine and just make her a little more athletic in motion. Uh, again, I really like this heifer from a power standpoint and just her body. Congratulations to this young lady. Your results for class number four in your Division II limousine show in first place and your Division II limousine champion, entry 1630 from J.C. Smith of Decatur, Arkansas. At this time, we will now bring up class number five. This will be the Division Three limousine females. We have a single entry within class number five. We have entry 1631 from Bevan Lynn. This is the only entry within the class and the only class within the division. Really a high quality May heifer the young lady brings us and one uh, is really, really good in terms of body shape and power. You know for how stout this heifer is, you get in behind her, I think her hip and her hind leg works extremely good in, in terms of her top line quality and just her athleticism. She could have, she maybe has just a dab of chest, but honestly I still think she balances so good in terms of her head and her neck and her shoulder. Just a really, really high quality female here and an automatic division winner. Congratulations. Your results for class number five in first place and your Division Three limousine champion entry 1631 from Bevan Lynn Birchke. At this time, we will now bring back our Division One, Two, and Three champion and reserve champion, and we will have our judge select your grand champion and reserve grand champion limousine females. Returning from your Division I limousines, we have entry 1629, Macy Wilkins, which is your champion. Returning from Division I limousine as your reserve would be entry 1627 from McKinley Palmetary. Returning from Division II, your limousine champion, entry 1630 from J.C. Smith. And returning from that last division, which was just crowned your champion for Division Three, we have entry 1631 from Bevan Lynn Bertsky. These are your champion and reserve champions in contention for your grand champion and reserve champion limousine females. Really a high quality show and you know not huge in numbers but like I said I think the quality uh, has certainly been here and it's no secret the limousine breed right now is hot uh, and they're doing good things within the breed and so uh, congratulations to you kids for coming to Denver and, and exhibiting them here today. You know the pair out of the first division they're a little different but I think really good cattle and they're just going to keep getting better. The one that won here is just sound really really functional cattle love her hip and her hind leg. You know out here and like I said uh, we could change her head but from shoulders back there's a world of good in that particular female uh, just real real high quality the reserve again very striking from the profile we could make her just a look uh, nickel sounder in terms of her front skeleton there love her look at the standstill in terms of her head her neck and her shoulder the intermediate division here very stout and powerful kind of a heifer uh, down her top line and out of her hip design she's real bold in terms of her body shape as well you 
you know, you compare her maybe to a couple other heifers, she could be a little sounder in terms of her top line. But again, that one's going to make a very stout and powerful cow for that young lady. And then the last division winner here, a uh, very good female. I love her body sweep from her full rib, mid rib, back into her rear rib and flank. Her quality of her top line and her hip design is awesome as well. Her skeleton reads uh, very sound, very athletic. She has a dab of chest, but I still think they've kept her fresh about her front end, her head and her neck, all the way down into her shoulder. An awesome division here. Let's go ahead and give these kids a big round of applause. We'll get you a champion reserve purebred. Your grand champion limousine female comes from your third division of limousines. That is entry 1631 from Bevy Lynn Birchke. Your reserve grand champion. Limousine female comes from Division One. That is your Division One limousine champion. Entry 1629 from Macy Wilkins. We're going to roll right into our Division One of Limb Flex females. Up first will be our class number six within our Limousine Limb Flex show. Within class number six, we have a single entry. We have entry 1632 from Bevan Lynn Birchke. Well, a really strong way to start off our limb flex show and just a May heifer calf that hits you with a ton of quality, just in terms of body shape and power, and yet she's smooth for a heifer calf, her head, her neck, and how it transitions into the base of her shoulder. She's sound structured, uh, just a really high quality female here to start us off. Congratulations to this young lady. Your results from class number six within your limb flex division one entry 1631 in first place is Bevy Bevan Lynn Birchie. In the ring at this time is now class number seven of division one limb flex females. We have a single entry within this class entry 1633 from Tyla Thomas of Sterling, Colorado. Back over to our North Show Ring is going to get underway is our Junior Purebred Show within our Shorthorn Show for here at the National Western Stock Show. We have coming in the ring at this time is class number one of late spring heifer calves. We have three entries in this class. Entry 2033 from Alexa Turner. 
Entry 1941 from Olivia Allen. And entry 2023 from Sloan Reedy. These complete class number one of late spring heifers. Really a neat looking March heifer here to win this particular class. Uh, one for a heifer calf, really fresh. I, I love her at the standstill. I know she's maybe a little nervous today, but love her head and her neck and how it detaches in the top of her shoulder. She's really long and good down her top line and out of her hip design. Like I said, I think the base of her chest is sat into her good, and that allows her to balance back into her rear ribbon flank. Uh, you know, maybe just a little uh, harsh at the surface as she sets down out of her hawk and her rear pasture. Uh, but again, just a striking female, especially about her front end quality. Over to your limousine show, your results for class number seven, Division I Limb Flex in first place entry 1633 from Tyla Thomas. Coming in the ring at this time for your limousine show would be class number eight. This is Division I Limb Flex females. They have two entries within this next class. We'll have entry 1634 from Trotter Thomas of Sterling, Colorado. And we'll have entry 1635 from Brigston Steve Birchke of South Dakota. Nice way to start off the purebred shorthorn show here. I think some give and take between all three of these females out here for me. I think young man's uh, heifer that leads off this class just does so in a complete package. She's good up through her front end and still bold in her center body there and get off of her from the three quarter. She carries a lot of shape up high and back into a big old stout hip. I think when she motors around the ring, she does so rather handily there as well. Just a nice complete female to start off this class. Now the young ladies have her here in second. Certainly really feminine, ties her neck in super high out of the top side of her shoulder. She wants to just get a little rounder out of her hip there. Maybe just doesn't carry that same lower body shape and dimension as you compare it to the one directly ahead of her. But you love the length of body and the late maturing look that this female has. I think with some time on feet and a little bit more maturity, that one could certainly put together a really nice look for that young lady later this summer. And the white roan have her finishing out this class. If we could just uh, fix this one off both ends, lay her back, make her a little more relaxed when she sets into motion off of both ends of her skeleton there, give her a bit, bit more center body dimension that help her out because you love the stoutness of features she has the big old hip that she has in there as well really highly presented uh, for there as well let's give all three of those exhibitors another big round of applause in the short horn ring your results for the first class of late spring heifers within the junior purebred show in third place entry 1941 from olivia allen second place goes to entry 2033 from alexa turner and your class winner entry 2023 from Sloan Reedy. At this time, we will now bring up class number two. These will be late spring heifer calves. We have five entries within this class. We have entry 2006 from Ryan Lane, entry 2019 from Paige Phillips, entry 2034 from Alexa Turner. We have entry 1984 from Kylie Dustel, and we have entry 1956 from Lane Blankenship. These are the five entries that make up class number two of late spring heifer calves. Over in your limb flex show in the ring at this time is now going to be still class number eight. We have entry 1634 from Trotter Thomas and entry 1635 from Brigston Steve Birchke of South Dakota. We'll take this time to introduce our judge in our limousine and limb flex show. It is none other than Miss Kendall Reitzenstein. She grew up in Kersey, Colorado on a 250 head cattle operation. She showed cattle, pigs, and horses growing up. Kendall also competed on the national champion team at the Redlands Community College, then continued on to Oklahoma State University where they were named the reserve national team. She was also fortunate enough to be an All-American at both. After her undergrad, she was the assistant coach at OSU for two national championship teams and completed a Master's of Science. She then continued on to coach at Colorado State University for three years. Currently, she continues to raise cattle for youth exhibitors. We appreciate Kendall judging today's Limousine Limflex show. 
really a nice pair of uh, February heifers here, and I'll be honest, they're very, very different, and I appreciate both of them for what they have to offer. I guess when you walk, watch them come in, the heifer that leads off is not only stouter, but she's also a little longer out of her hip, and it allows her to set down more comfortably from hawk to surface. Like I said, if you get in behind this pair, this is a bolder-bodied female at the top of her spine all the way to the surface. She carries that same dimension out through a real stout and powerful hip. Now, up front, she's not as neat maybe about her head, her neck, down into her shoulder as the one here in two. But again, I really like that heifer stoutness, a feature, bone work, and extra substance. This heifer in two, she's the big, high-growth heifer on paper. And yet, you study her visually, she's so feminine and refined about her head and her neck. Gives you an awesome silhouette at the standstill. Like I mentioned, she's not as stout in terms of her bone work as our class winner. And maybe not as sound structured, but still a very strong striking, very neat looking female there to be into. The results for class number eight within your division one limb flex show in second place entry 1634 from Trotter Thomas and your class winner entry 1635 from Brigston Steve Birchke of South Dakota. We will get the ring reset for class number nine. Class number nine is your division one limb flex female class, the last class. This will be entry 1637 from Stetson Phillips of Geary, Oklahoma. A lone January heifer here. The young man brings us very, very stout and very powerful for a heifer calf. I love her down her top line and out of her hip design. If you get in behind her, she's long necked and smooth shouldered for how stout she is. We could maybe soften her up back into her rear rib and flank and just allow her to balance a little better at the standstill and in motion. But again, I love her extension, love her extra power, especially from the rear view. Congratulations to him. Over here in the short horn ring, I think some give and take between all five of these females when you get them out here and compare them to each other. Two different types that lead off this class for me. The young man's a red heifer that leads off the class does so. Just overwhelming in terms of her stoutness of feature. Got a lot of shape up high when you get on and on off of her from behind. When she first hit the ring, I said, did she have enough body? And then the longer she stands out here, relaxes and pulls herself together, she certainly does. I think that one will mature well. Still gives you a really nice balance look from the side and moves around the ring really comfortably. A nice place to start. Now the young ladies have her here in second. Certainly the one that hits you from a femininity and elegance standpoint. She's so refined up through her front end, up through her uh, head, neck, and, and uh, still lays back really smooth there in her shoulder as well. If we could give that one just a little bit more lower body shape, I think that one uh, could stand to, to, to uh, pass up our class winner there because you love the length of body she has, the feminine and elegant look she carries up front um, and still gets around the ring really well. I think with some time on feed, that one will mature for a really nice one for that young lady. Lady. Now the one that's most genuine in terms of her body shape comes out here in third. She's a moderate, easy feeding type of female right there for this young lady. Maybe just doesn't come with those extras as the two ahead of her. I like to see her just a little stouter footed there at the ground. Maybe just be a little more comfortable in the way she hinges and plants off that rear hip and hind leg there as well. But an easy feed and big body type one there. You like those features about her. Young lady's white roan coming next. Certainly is a long bodied, uh, moderate female there that offers some depth of body. Gets too straight and upright off both ends of her skeleton when you get her on the go if you could come make her move a little more comfortable you'd like to things for that young lady and the young man's a red roan uh, closing out the class we could just see her uh, a little more comfortable in the way that she uses that hind leg square her up and give her more body and dimension all the way throughout that help her out as well another really nice class of short horns let's give them all another big round of applause your results for class number two within your purebred short horn show in fifth place, entry 2006 from Ryan Lane. Fourth place, entry 1984 from Kylie Dustel. Third place, entry 2019 from Paige Phillips. Second place, entry 2034 from Alexa Turner. And your class winner, entry 1956 from Lane Blankenship. Within the Shorthorn Show, we will now bring back our first and seconds from class one and two, and our judge will select your champion and reserve champion late spring heifer calves. Over within your limb 
Flex Show. In the ring at this time is our first and seconds returning from classes six through nine. Our judge will select our Division I Limb Flex Champion and Reserve Champions. Well, a great first division out here, a heifer calves. And the heifer out of the first class uh, just fits together so nice. And, and to me, of this particular lineup, as you watch them come in and get in behind them, this heifer's really genuine at the ground. She's big-footed. She's sound-structured. Love her body shape, and yet her chest is laid into her good for a heifer calf, her head shape, her neck, and how smooth she ties into her shoulder. You know, in a perfect setting, we can maybe lengthen her out of her hip and pick her pin set up just a little but like I said, I think she pulls herself together so nice from the profile and balances exceptionally good. The heifer, that one class two, uh, is very striking right here. Love her head and her neck and how it ties into her shoulder really long and strong down her top line and has some power when you get in behind them. I uh, know when you walk her, she's a little nervous today, and I wish she just sat down at the surface a little more comfortably out of her hawk and her pastern, but that one is so good from the profile or body shape reads long term to me and of this setting I do think she's probably the longest hipped and the longest ahead of her shoulder. The pair that came out of the next class I used power in this young man's heifer here circling. She's bigger footed, she's heavier duty in terms of her bone work. She's really really stout in this particular lineup out, out of her hip and up high as well. You know with that power a little coarser about her head and her shoulder there uh, but still utilizes her hind leg good. The second heifer was really good from the profile uh, just needs to be a, a little sounder. And then the January heifer here, very stout, very powerful down her top line and out of her hip. We could stouten her up in terms of her bone work just a little to fit into the mix. A great way to get us started off here in the Limb Flex Show. Let's go ahead and congratulate these kids. We'll get you a champion in reserve. Your Division I Limb Flex champion comes from class number six. That is entry 1632 from Bevan Lynn Birchie. Over here on the Shorthorn side, we'll get through this first division. Uh, really high quality set all the way throughout here. I, I think some uh, give and take here. All of these are younger females. For me, I think uh, these uh, two class champions are, are probably your stouter featured of the four that stand out here. We'll go out and I'll collect, select your champion in reserve, but let's give all these guys another big round of applause. Over to your purebred shorthorn show, your champion comes from your second class of late spring heifers. That is entry 1956 from Lane Blankenship. The reserve goes to the first place coming out of the first class. That is entry 2023 from Sloan Reedy. Over in our limousine show, the Limflex, we will now have coming into the ring at this time, class number 10. This is division two of Limflex females. We have in this class two entries. We have entry 1640 from Jordan Marie Jones, and we have entry 1641 from Jordan Marie Jones. Both of these entries make up class number 10 of division two Limflex first class. Over to your purebred shorthorn show in the ring at this time is class number five in the program. This will be early spring heifer calves. We have entry 1954 from Riley Bevins, entry 1936 from Sarah Allard, entry 2043 from Paisley White, entry 1950 from Aaliyah Beach, entry 2041 from Kinsley White, entry 2004 from Alexa Lane, entry 1989 from Caroline Hubner, and entry 2030 from J.C. Stutzman. These are the entries that make up class number five within your purebred shorthorn show. Really a nice pair of December heifers here, and the heifer that leads us off 
awesome from the profile. Of the particular pair, uh, she's bigger at the ground in terms of her bone work and her feature. Love her skeleton as well, down her top line and the length out of her hip. She's real fresh in her condition, and I appreciate that about her. On paper, she's the high growth female. She's got some power. She's got some dimension. Just a really nice heifer here to lead us off. Nothing taken away from two here because this heifer is perhaps just a little longer out of her hip, a little longer ahead of her shoulder. She's deep and soft and certainly practical in terms of her kind. It uh, doesn't balance up quite as nicely from her chest in relation to her flank. We could stouten her up in terms of her bone work, but that's a fundamental very correct made female in terms of her body and her length uh, an extension down her top and out of her hip. Your results for class 10 in the Division II Limb Flex in first place entry 1640 from Jordan Marie Jones and in second place entry 1641 from Jordan Marie Jones. Coming into the ring at this time will be now class number 11 of the Division II Limb Flex females. We'll have a single entry within this class, entry 1642 from Josie Wilkins of Lamar, Arkansas. Really a neat November heifer here, and again, a single entry, but could certainly withstand some more competition. She's really big at the ground, big-footed, heavy-duty in terms of her bone work, and she utilizes her skeleton very good as well. Like her body shape, really, if you get on the three-quarter view of this female, it might be my favorite view because her necktie's so good on the top of her shoulder, she draws back really consistent and really fresh about her body shape and her muscle design out of her hip. Just a really nice heifer here. Congratulations to that young lady. Your results for class 11 in the division two limb flex in first place entry 1642 from Josie Wilkins. At this time we will now bring in class number 12. This will have a single entry within this class entry 1643 from Trip Phillips. We'll get everybody spun back around over here in the shorthorn ring. Young ladies effort that leads off this class, I think does so rather handily for me. I think one that's really, really complete when you study her there from a maternal aspect, super big bodied when, and, and gets out and goes with a lot of comfort and ease. Maybe just wants to duck her pins ever so slightly, but one that I think uh, gets around with a lot of comfort and ease and it's got a lot of body and maternal look there. We like all those things about her. Just a really nice, complete female to lead off this class. Gets a little closer for me between uh, second and third in this class, some give and take in terms of some type and kind. But the young lady's red heifer here, certainly a long-bodied, smooth-made one that's so elegant up through her front end. I think for me, she's not perfect in the way that she wants to set down on that hind leg. She just wants to be a little more timid in it today, and that might just be showing a calf here today. For me, she's a little more collected and, and gathered up through her front end skeleton when you study her and compare it to the one directly behind her. But a deep-bodied, a feminine-made one there that certainly gives you a really nice striking look when you get off from the side. Now the young ladies have her here in third certainly a moderate big bodied female that's certainly easy flesh and probably a little quicker in a maturity pattern there and just gets a little too open up through her front shoulder for me I love the stoutness of feature the body and the moderation that this female has uh, one that's certainly going to really make a really nice cow prospect and an easy feeding one for that young lady down the road young ladies uh, Roan Heifer coming next certainly another moderate big bodied one as well she just gets a little too tight in the reuse of her rear pastern there a little shorter in the use of that hip and hind leg we could just lengthen this female out give her a bit more 
more a frame and skeleton. You love the stoutness of feature, the body that that one has when she gets out on the move. The stoutness of feature is certainly impressive in that female. Yeah, the young ladies, Roan Heifer coming next, another uh, bull-bodied one when you study her there from the side and really elegant up through that front end. She gets a little more uh, uncoordinated in the way that she uses that hip and hind leg. She ducks from, from hooks to pins there and wants to pull that hind leg way underneath of herself there and, and gets a little more upright and rigid through that front shoulder. If we could relax her there through that shoulder, square her up in that hip and hip design. We love the moderation in the body that that female has compared to some of the contemporaries out here. Young ladies, White Heifer coming next, certainly a moderate style made one probably has as much shape as any in the class can kind of give you a wild look there from the side just too quick maturing for me when you study her there in her cannon bone and read her maturity. We just need to lengthen her out uh, all the way throughout, give her a bit more grow, but you love the body and the shape that that one has and the exotic look up through her front end. Young ladies, excuse me, red heifer coming next. You love the length of body and the smooth made look that this one has. She wants to get too narrow when you study her from behind. She kind of hocks in and gets a little harder in the lower body shape there. If we could just fix those things about her, you love the length of body that she has and the smooth look there. The young ladies, Roan Heifer rounding out the class. Certainly one that remains level in her top line when you get her into motion there, but just need to see more genuine heifer there when you study her in her lower body dimension uh, all the way throughout, but a really nice, highly presented heifer there for that young lady. A good class of Shorthorn's deep class there. Let's give them all another big round of applause. Really nice single entry. A September heifer the young man brings us and has done a really good job with her. Honestly, probably one of the, the most uh, powerful heifers we've seen so far up high and out through her pin set all the way to the ground in, in terms of bone work and feature. Really like this heifer from her shoulder back in terms of balance. You know, up front, a little plainer about her head design, but again, this is a really nice functional kind of a female that's going to make a really good cow down the road. Congratulations. Your results are from your Division II Limflex Class 12 in first place entry 1643. Within your Limflex show, we will now bring back all of our class winners for our judge to select your Division II Limflex Champion and Reserve Champions. Your results over to your purebred Shorthorn show from class number five in eighth place, entry 1936 from Sarah Allard. Seventh place, entry 1950 from Aliyah Beach. Sixth place, entry 2041 from Kinsley White. Fifth place, entry 2004 from Alexa Lane. Fourth place, entry 2043 from Paisley White. Third goes to entry 1989 from Caroline Hubner. Second place goes to entry 2030 from J.C. Stutzman. And your class winner goes to entry 1954 from Riley Bivens. At this time within your Shorthorn Purebred Show, we will bring in to the ring class number six. These will be early spring heifer calves. We'll have entry 2036 from Callie Turner, entry 1946 from Mesa Arnold, and entry 2047 from Cooper Wise. Three head over here on the Shorthorn side, another division. I think uh, some give and take between these top two out here but for me it's a skeleton thing that wins this class young ladies uh, white roan heifer here is so uh, so flexible when you set her into motion you love the hip and the hind leg that this one has in her she reaches out the truest when she sets her foot to the ground and yet still gives you a really really nice elegant look there from the side i think that one as she continues to be on feed uh, get her some more body and time on feed that'll help her a, a lot but still a really nice balance really feminine uh, sound made heifer that leads off that class young man's heifer here in second and initially kind of hits you as the cowie one because of her body and moderation there and you like those things about her. I just like to change this one skeletally. She gets a little too tight in the use of her rear pasture in there. Just doesn't get out and go with the same flex and ease as the class winner ahead of her. But you love with this one parked on the side, a big bodied moderate one, easy feeding one for that young man. A lot of good positives there when you study her uh, <clears throat> from that standpoint. And the young ladies have rounded out this class. Certainly a long-made, uh, sm long-bodied, smooth-made type of female here. One that we just need to see stouter at the ground and more cow all the way throughout. Give this one a lot more dimension, but you like the length of the body and the smooth look that one has. Three really nice heifers in that division. Let's give them another round of applause. 
really a nice division here in the Limflex show. You know, the Heifera, the first class of the trio, really smooth designed. I love her chest and how it's laid into her, uh, her shoulder and transition back into her body. She's a sound structured heifer as well. You know, you get in behind her and maybe compare her uh, to the heifer right behind her. She's a little flatter about the base of her body shape and the base of her stifle and her lower hip there. But I'm telling you, from the side, uh, she's class leading just in terms of her look, her balance, her freshness, uh, and head quality as well. We had a nice second place heifer behind her that is certainly functional, uh, just a little frailer at the ground. The heifer that came out of the middle class here, very, very stout and powerful. She utilizes her skeleton very good for being that powerful and that bold in terms of her body shape. Love her hip and her hind leg. You know, she's got a dab of chest, but I still think when she parks and plants, she still balances good. She's not as smooth maybe as the heifer right in front of her, but like I said, if you get the three-quarter view or right behind her, she's real stout and real aggressive in the turn out of the top of her spine into her body shape and all the way from behind. And then the young man's heifer that won the old, uh, last class here, very stout and powerful. She's moderate and sensible in terms of her size. I like that about her. A little straighter up front and plainer ahead of her shoulder. But like I said in class, that thing's going to make a really good cow for that young man. A nice division here of fall heifers. Let's go ahead and congratulate these kids. We'll get you a pair of champions. Over here on the shorthorn side of things, uh, a really, really high quality division. I messed up and called the last class a division, but this uh, division here I think brings the quality together. Uh, three extremely nice females that come back out here. For me, I think one's just a little more ready today in terms of her body shape and the way that she puts things together, and I love a stout made one that I can use at any time that still puts together a nice balanced look and still sound when you set her into motion there. Um, really, really good one. It's uh, uh, yet the other one gives you kind of a really elegant look there. I think some more time on feet, extremely green heifer there that's uh, sound moving. Uh, for me, I think it gets a little closer between the two. I like the stout made one of the April class. The March heifer will be reserved. Let's give all these uh, exhibitors another big, big round of applause as they exit the ring. A few results to kept, uh, catch up on here are uh, division Two Limflex champion in our limousine show is entry 1642 from Josie Wilkins. Your Division Two Limflex reserve champion is entry 1640 from Jordan Marie Jones. Over to your Shorthorn purebred show, your early spring heifer calf champion is entry 1954 from Riley Bivens. Your reserve champion goes to entry 2036 from Callie Turner. Over in your Limflex show, in the ring at this time, is now going to be class number 13. This will be your division four Limflexes. We have two entries within this class number 13, entry 1645 from Jordan Marie Jones, and we have entry 1646 from Brianna Herndon. That completes class number 13 within your Limflex show. Over in your Shorthorn purebred show in the North Show ring, we have now class number nine in the program. This is Junior Heifer Calves. We have entry 2028 from Brock David Struder. We have entry 2040 from Adeline Vaughn. Entry 1979 from Isabel Gilliard. Entry 1942 from Olivia Allen. Entry 1977 from Kylie Dustel. Entry 1971 from Alyssa Carter. Entry 20. Excuse me, that is the last entry for this class. So again, class nine, junior heifer calves. This completes class number nine. Really a nice pair of females here, and yet the one that leads off, I think, does so rather handily. Just so fresh for a big bred heifer. Her head, her neck, the base of her chest. I know she's a little pushy out here, but her angles all read extremely correct. Like that one's body shape and her power out of her hip. We could maybe stouten her up going away from you just a little. I'm being pretty critical. That one looks like a female, really, really fresh, very feminine and smooth from any angle you study her. Nothing taken away from the heifer here in two because she is 
this a little more moderate. I like her body shape and the sweep she has from her forerib, midrib, back into her flank. Compared to our leader here, maybe just a little plainer from the profile. Doesn't have the extras at the standstill, but very functional kind of a heifer there that's awesome in terms of her body design. Results for Class 13, Division 4 Limflex females in second place entry 1646 from Brenna Herndon and your class winner entry 1645 from Jordan Marie Jones. Coming in the ring at this time is now going to be class number 14. We have entry 1648 from Ben Spencer, entry 1649 from Carly Sue Coulterman. And then we will have our last entry within the class, entry 1650 from McKinley Palmetary. This completes your last class of Division IV limb flexes. Well, a really high quality class here, but I think a really, really nice duo that starts off this class. I asked them to lead again. This young man, Heifer, that leads off this class, sometimes you gotta, you gotta ask them to walk again to see if it's just walking goofy for their first time in town or if it's uh, truly a, a problem there structurally. This one gets just a little uh, more timid in the way that she sets down that rear pasture, but I don't think it's a knuckling problem. I think it's just the way she's being a little goofy out here. Because you study her angles there, she's really good. She's elegant up through that front end. I think where she sets herself apart. She's just a little square and true as the way she comes to the ground off that hip and hind leg. You like the depth of body she has and the balance look from the side. A really nice uh, purebred to start off this uh, class. Young ladies, Red Roan here in second. You love the shape that this one has. She's extremely shapely up high. Big old stout stifle in her when you study her there from behind as well. Maybe just wants to hock in a little bit for as much stoutness and power as she has there. A bold bodied, really maternal looking female. Really, really high quality top duo there in this class. Uh, both should be commended there as well. Young ladies have her coming out here in third. You love the length of body that this one has. Still really, really good and, and good looking there as well. She gets just a little tighter in the way that she wants to toss those hind legs when you set her into motion. Uh, one that certainly, though, has a lot of length of body and a lot of future and performance of that one there. I think that's a really, really nice uh, one there standing in the third hole in this class. Then the, we get some give and take between these next three heifers coming out. Young ladies, Red Roan coming out here uh, in fourth is certainly a long-bodied one, really elegant up through her front end, carries a lot of shape up high. She just gets a little tighter and rounder at hip when you set her into motion. If we could just square her up from hooks to pins when you get her on the move and let her reach with a bit more flex and ease off those lower joints, that help her. But certainly a nice, elegant, uh, shapely type of female there. Young ladies, white heifer coming next. You'll love the stoutness of feature that this one has and the sure shape up high. Uh, one that just needs to be a bit more genuine in her lower body shape, a little more comfortable when you set her into motion off the you know, those hip and hind leg. Young ladies, her own uh, uh, rounding out the class here. Certainly a long-bodied one. Just needs more dimension all the way throughout. Really nice, high-quality set of females there. Let's give them another round of applause. 
really, really good trio of heifers over here on the limb flex side. And all three of these heifers are honestly very high quality. The one we lead off with, though, uh, she hit me hard the minute she came in. She is so sound structured. She's real fresh and feminine up front. She's a powerful female, and yet she's smooth in the way she puts it all together, from her shoulder, her body shape, out to her hip design. She maybe doesn't hook up quite as strong right behind her shoulder, and she's maybe not quite as stout at the ground as the one right behind her here, but everything matches. I don't call her frail by any means. She is so good at a uh, standstill here and even better in motion. That's a really nice heifer. Like I said, heifer in two, there is a lot of power in this particular female. She is better in her hookup right behind her shoulder blade than our class leader. She's bigger in her rear ankle size and the way she steps out of her hind leg. That's a high quality female that's real good from the rear view. Uh, little things place her in second and she's a little longer shoulder and a little deeper in her chest and not as neat ahead of her shoulder there uh, as our class leader. That's a really nice heifer there to be in two. Nothing taken away from the heifer in third because this heifer could win uh, surely a lot of classes. She's got a lot of length and extension from the profile. She's actually a little better in her upper pin placement in motion than the heifer there in two. She balances good from her chest back into her flank, a little straighter in the angle to her shoulder and a little frailer at the surface comparatively. That's a high quality female. This is a good class. Let's go ahead and congratulate those three exhibitors. Your results for your Division Four Limb Flex class, the last class. In third place, entry 1650 from McKinley Palmetary. Second place goes to entry 1649 of Carly Sue Coulterman. And your class winner, entry 1648 from Ben Spencer. At this time within our Limb Flex show, we will bring back our class 13 and 14 winners and we will have our judge select your champion and reserve champion division for limb flexes. Over in your shorthorn show, your results for class number nine of junior heifers in sixth place went to entry 1977 from Kylie Dustel. Fifth place, entry 1942 for Olivia Allen. Fourth place was entry 1979, Isabel Gillard. Third place, entry 2040 from Adeline Vaughn. Second place goes to entry 1971 from Melissa Carter. And your class winner, entry 2028 for Brock David Studer. At this time in the ring is now going to be for your Shorthorns, class number 10 of junior heifer calves. We have entry 2026 from Kinsley Robinette, entry 2025 from Jacob Robinette, entry 1962 from Alyssa Byers, and entry 2012 from Reese Locke. Those are the four entries that complete class number 10 of junior heifers within your Shorthorn show. Really a fun division of, of heifers, big heifers over here. You know, the heifer out of the first class, uh, I think of the two class winners, this one's really fresh. I, I love her head, her neck, down into the base of her chest. She gives you an awesome look of balance down her top line, and the length out of her hip, uh, to me, is also leading in this particular division. You know, if you step, step off of her and study her, the base of her chest in relation to her flank, she could maybe have a little more forerib and just allow that to blend a little seamless, more seamlessly. And when you get in behind her, I'm nitpicking it here because this is a tough division. We could stouten her up from the base of her hip to hawk to surface. I don't think, again, it's causing a huge issue. That one gives you a really fresh look of balance and smoothness. And I love the length down her top line and the length out of her hip. A nice second place heifer as well. That's certainly fundamental, correct, just a little plainer. The pair out of the uh, second class here, the, our class leader, uh, just hit me so hard coming in. She's good at the standstill in terms of her balance, her body shape, and her power, uh, but good cattle get better in motion, and she is so sound structured. She's athletic out of her hip design. The set and the slope to her shoulder and her knee is awesome. We could maybe hook her up just a little better right behind her shoulder. Again, that's an, a really, really nice heifer. The second place heifer out here, uh, probably the stoutest one of the 
this at. She's really dimensional out of her hip, down her top line. Her bone work is huge and at the surface in terms of her feature. You know, maybe doesn't balance up quite as nice in terms of her chest in relation back into her flank and ahead of her shoulder there, but there's a world of cow power from that one's shoulder back. This is an awesome division. I'll be honest, I think there's one that wins pretty easily, and then there's a, a really a close decision here for reserve. Let's go ahead and congratulate all these kids and the breeders. Really a nice division. Over here on the shorthorn side, some give and take between all four of these females. I think the one that just puts together the most uh, good from a maternal standpoint is this young lady's head for the leads off this class. The most genuine in terms of her body shape there, and you study the, the sweep that she has, I think she's going to be the most genuine uh, long term there as well. And then when you set her into motion, she's probably the most comfortable when you study her in her lower joints and her hock and rear pasture in there and her knee uh, uh, as well. Maybe wants to get a little rounder in the use of her hip when you set her into motion, but one that's still more comfortable in the use of those lower joints. Uh, went on the move. A really nice, just complete effort that leads off that class there. Young Ladies White Roan here ha offers probably as much performance and grow and length the body as any in this class. You like those things about her. She's uh, elegant up through her front end and, and really long and extended there. She just needs to be a little softer in her center body when you study her uh, compared to the one directly ahead of her. If we could just blow her apart in her lower heart and fore rib there and back into her flank, that'd help her out quite a bit because you do like the length the body and the grow and the performance that that female has uh, there in second. The young ladies have her here in third. You like the length of body and probably the most elegant up through her front end when you compare it to any of the heifers in this class. Just need more power and dimension all the way throughout. She just gets too shallow up through her uh, lower body there. If we could just blow her apart, give her more dimension and volume, that'd help her because you like the length of body and the elegant look she has up through her front end there. Young man's have her rounding out the class. Another long-bodied, smooth-made kind of individual. Just needs more dimension all the way throughout. If we could make her a little more coordinated in the use of that hawk and rear pastern too. Square her up there on the move, that'd help. But certainly like the length of body, smooth-made look. Nice class of shorthorn females. Let's give them another round of applause. Your results within your Limflex show for your Division Four championship drive. Your division champion goes to entry 1648, Ben Spencer. Your reserve Limflex Division Four champion is entry 1645 from Jordan Marie Jones. At this time for our Limflex show, we will bring back our division winners for our judge to select your grand champion and reserve grand champion Limflex females. Over in your Shorthorn show, the results for class number 10 in fourth place, entry 2025 for Jacob Robinette. Third place goes to entry 2026 for Kinsley Robinette. Second place goes to entry 1962 for Alyssa Byers. And your first place class winner goes to entry 2012 for Reese Locke. At this time, within your Shorthorn Show, we will now bring back our class winners for our judge to select his champion and reserve champion, Junior Heifer Cavs. Well, a really nice uh, uh, division here as we bring each one of these females out. I think one probably blends together the most good in terms of a, a balanced look from the side, a really feminine look and still being sound and big bodied as well. And you bring out the reserves, they, they put together a really nice look. I think a pair of them stay together really well. Uh, the pair out of your first class can be your champion reserve. Let's give all these exhibitors another big round of applause though. Well, it's been a really fun uh, morning here working through the limousine show, and I just want to thank uh, the Lemmy Board and the Association for asking me to do this, and of course the National Western Stock Show. It's very special for me. I've known Mark and Tammy uh, for a long time, and always coming to Denver, it, it hits you. It hits a little bit more at home for me, and so I have thoroughly enjoyed this, and, and really looking forward to the rest of Denver as we work forward here. The quality of the cattle has been exceptional, and like I said earlier, the limousine breed is really 
really making its mark right now. And I think the quality of the cattle, the kids and the breeders, you guys are doing things right and you're making these things so good. So hats off to you guys. Hats off for coming to Denver and presenting these things extremely good. All three of these divisions and reserves, I think, uh, you know, I'm not going to say they're all cookie cutter similar. They don't need to be. I still think they're very good cattle in how they come to us. And yet their better days are yet to come, either going forward showing or being a really good cow in the making. So again, congratulations. Thank you guys again for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Ringside, let's go ahead and congratulate all these kids. We'll get you a champion in reserve. Your grand champion Limflex female comes from Division 4. That is your Division 4 Limflex champion 1648 from Ben Spencer. Rolling into consideration would be the reserve from Division 4. That'll be entry 1645 from Jordan Marie Jones. Your reserve champion, Limflex Female, also comes out of Division 4. That's the reserve champion entry, 1645, from Jordan Marie Jones. Over within your Shorthorn Purebred Show in the ring at this time is now Class 13 within the programs. These are winter heifer calves. We have three entries in this class. We have entry 2037 from Adeline Vaughn, entry 1972 from Alyssa Carter, and entry 1983 from Colton Greenhorn. It's pretty challenging here for me between these top two females. I don't think either of them are hinged perfectly or assembled perfectly when you study them from a skeletal standpoint. Uh, there's some give and take between the two of them, and there's certainly some differences in terms of their, uh, what they bring to the table from a phenotypic standpoint. I think you could go either way with each one of these females, just depending upon where you want to lay your priorities. For me today, the young lady's uh, stoutness, a feature and bone that this female has, and still giving you a balanced look from the side. I think actually where they separate themselves from 
for me from a skeletal standpoint. This one reaches with just a little bit more comfort and ease off of her hip and hind leg and pulls that uh, a little truer in terms of the way that she sets her hind leg down um, when you set them into motion. She does want to get up in her spine and kind of shallow her up through that heart and forward, and that's where I'll give the advantage to the young man's heifer there in second. Certainly the big body maternal one, when he gets her stuck on the profile, that's where you want to switch this pair. She's so long-bodied and big-bodied there uh, uh, when you study her there uh, from the side profile. But when you set her into motion, she just wants to get a little tighter. If we could just lengthen that hip out, this pair swaps for me, no problem, no questions asked. Uh, but certainly a big-bodied maternal one there in second. Still like the stoutness of feature that that one has ahead of her and reaches with a bit more comfort and ease out of that rear hawk and pass room when set into motion. The young lady's white roan heifer here is probably the one that's the most comfortable there, but she also wants to get a little rounder in the use of that uh, hip and hind leg when you set her into motion. Maybe just not as genuine in that lower body shape when you study her to the two ahead of her, but a long bodied, uh, high, good haired one there that certainly reaches out with some comfort and ease. Three really nice females in that class. Let's give them all another round of applause as they exit the ring. Your results for class 13 of winter heifer calves in third place entry 2037 from Adeline Vaughn. Second place goes to entry 1983 from Colton Greenhorn. And your class winner, entry 1972 from Alyssa Carter. In the ring at this time for our shorthorns will be class number 14 in the program. That'll be senior heifer calves. We have two entries within this class. We'll have entry 2021 from Regan Easton. And we have an entry from 1938 of Jonna McCullough. These two entries make up class number 14 of senior heifer calves. Nice pair of September born females. I'm going to leave them as they stand as they came out here. The young lady's heifer to the right, I think, is one that uh, you love the hip and the hind leg this one has in her. She reaches out with a lot of comfort and ease off both ends when you set her into motion. Still so stout footed and, and big featured there as well. You know, when she first came in, I was like, does she have enough body there? And she actually probably is a little bit more genuine in her lower body shape. Just doesn't carry that flank hair that the one does right behind her in terms of that smoothness and, and her underlining carriage there. You still like the body shape that she has there. I, I think if you had that flank hair there, you, would, you wouldn't even blink an eye because I think that one moves around the ring really, really well as well. This young lady gets this heifer parked on the profile, gives you a really nice look from the side. Her one that's really good in terms of her top line, really elegant up through her front end and, and in the way she goes. She just wants to get a little bit tighter when you study her in the use of that hip and hind leg. If we just lengthen that out just to skosh and the, from hooks to pins there, I think that'd help her reach it with more comfort and ease as she fills her tracks there. But one that puts together a really, really nice profile and silhouette there from the side. A nice elegant female there as well. Really nice pair of September born females. Let's give both of those exhibitors another big round of applause. Your results for class 14 of Shorthorns and the purebred category senior heifers in second place entry 1938 from Jonna McAuliffe and your class winner entry 2021 from Reagan Easton. At this time, we will now bring back our class winners from class 13 and 14, and our judge will select your champion and reserve champion, Senior Heifer Cavs.
Well, a really nice division here. All four of these females are exceptionally good, and I think uh, each brings some different unique positives to the table. We just talked about each one of them. I think a pair of females fit together for well for me to, from a structural standpoint and from a look and balance standpoint as well. We're going to keep the September Borns together in this division. Let's give all these guys another big, big round of applause as Zach's at the ring bell. Your champion senior heifer calf comes from class 14. That is entry 2021 from Reagan Easton. Your reserve champion senior heifer calf also comes out of class 14. That is entry 1938 from John McAuliffe. At this time, we'll clear the ring and we'll get set for class 17 in the programs. This will be summer yearling females. We have a single entry within class number 17. We have a single entry of 2003 from Alexa Lane. Single entry August female here, and uh, I think a really nice one for this young lady, just a real maternal type female, bold bodied, balances nice from the side and reads goods in terms of her angles when you get her out there. Maybe not the longest neck thing in the world, but that doesn't bother me because she's so deep bodied and, and got a lot of volume and dimension all the way throughout. Really nice balanced maternal female. We'll see her back in in just a second for a division champion. Let's give her a young, uh, this young lady another round of applause. Results for Class 17 of Summer Yearling Heifers. In first place, entry 2003 from Alexa Lane. At this time, we'll now bring up Class Number 18, which is Late Spring Yearling Females. We have a single entry within Class Number 18. We have entry 1987 from Emma Helsinger. Well, nice, moderate, easy flesh in June. Female coming back into the ring, and uh, you like the body that this one has and just the dimension all the way throughout. Gives you a nice look up through her front end. Wants to kind of set down funky on her rear pastern there on the right side. Uh, we'll see him spin around here in just a second again for division, but let's give this young lady another big round of applause as we uh, bring these females back. Results for Class 18 of late spring yearling females. In first place, entry 1987 from Emma Helsinger. At this time, we'll now bring back our first place winners from classes 17 and 18 for our judge to select your champion and reserve champion intermediate females. A nice pair of intermediate females here. Uh, I think that as you compare them to each other, both huge bodied individuals that give you some nice maternal aspects there from a, a fleshing and um, easy keeping kind of standpoint there into the future. I think the young ladies August, just a little more length. Uh, you love the length of body and the length of hip that that one has. She's just a lot sounder when you set her into motion. She reaches with more comfort and ease off that hip and hind leg when you set her into motion and still up through that front skeleton. If we could just lengthen that June female out all the way throughout, 
not only link the body, but her hip there as well. I think that helped her when you set her into motion, but both bold-bodied maternal individuals. Young lady with your, uh, uh, to the, my right will be your champion. Young lady to the left will be your reserve. Let's give them both a big, big round of applause. Your intermediate champion female is entry 2003 from class number 17. That is Alexa Lane. Reserve intermediate champion female comes out of class 18. That is entry 1987 from Emma Helsinger. We will clear the ring and get set for class number 21 in the program. That is going to be your early spring yearling females. So coming into the ring is now class 21. This are early spring yearling females. From this class, we have entry 1961 from Cole Bruce. We have entry 2017 from Cammie Miller. Entry 1986 from Colton Greenhorn. Entry 2018 from Paige Parker. Entry 2049 from Jada Wood. And rounding out the class, entry 2031 from J.C. Stutzman. These are the six entries that make up class 21, the last class of females. The first and seconds within class number 21 of early spring yearling females will become your champion and reserve champion early spring females as this is the only class within the division. With this larger class in the ring, it gives us a chance to highlight our 2023-24 National Lassie Queen, McKenna Giesman. McKenna Giesman is the 2023-24 National Shorthorn Lassie Queen. McKenna resides in Everett, Michigan, and is the fourth generation to raise shorthorn cattle on the rolling hills of Lakeside Farm in north central Michigan. McKenna has recently completed coursework at Michigan State University and works full-time. McKenna is active in the show ring with her bred and owned shorthorn and percentage cattle. We appreciate our 2023-24 National Lassie Queen being here to hand out awards for this year's show.
want to welcome everybody back to our limousine show here in the South Show Ring. We're going to get started today with our Division I of Limousine, class number one. Within this class, we will have entry 4126 from Tacey Baker. Our judge for today's contest is Mr. Dan Harker of Indiana. Dan Harker and his family reside in Hope, Indiana, where Dan is the owner and operator of Harker Simitals, a 135-head cow-calf operation consisting of purebred and percentage Simital and Angus. Harker Simitals markets the open heifers, bulls, and embryos through public auction, online sales, and private treaty. We appreciate Mr. Dan Harker judging today's Limousine Medal of Excellence show. Well, good morning. It's a pleasure to be in Denver this morning. Uh, we're going to start off this limousine show with a June-born female. Uh, really exceptional in terms of her look that she gives you out here from the side. You love the extension that she has, the way she's built through that front shoulder. One with plenty of shape and dimension and youthful here at this stage of her game. Uh, I think a very nice effort. Could definitely stand some competition. Congratulations to her. Your results for Class 1, Division 1 limousine. In first place, entry 4126 from Tacey Baker. We'll clear her out of the ring, and we'll bring in class number two of females. We'll have two entries within class number two. We have entry 4127 from McKinley Palmetary and entry 4128 from Bevan Lynn Birchie. Well, guys, an extremely, extremely high quality class to round out the Shorthorn show over here on this side. I think the depth of quality is tremendous all the way throughout these females. I'm going to leave these two as they stand out here for me. I think the young man's have for the, the slight subtle differences for me is she's just a little bit better in the angle of her shoulder there. Ties her neck in just a little bit higher out of the top side of her shoulder. Uh, you love the body dimension that that one has and the, and the way she gets out moves off of her hip and hind leg there. Plus, I think she has you study her in her teat distension there as, as these guys become, you know, close to calving season here. I, I like her better in that regard, too, in terms of her spacing and sizing there as well. Now, the young ladies have her in second here. Certainly a super high quality quality presented type of female here you love I love her from her shoulder back if we could just rock that angle of her shoulder back just a little bit just let her neck high, tie out just a little bit higher there man I love everything else about this female she's really good in terms of her hip and hind leg and the way she moves about the ring and still bold enough I think in terms of her center body there as well if we could just space those teats out a little bit that's a nitpick and a pretty nice heifer there as well the young man's heifer here in third hit me man that's a big old powerhouse coming out here in third you love the the bone and the the, the foot size that this one has and the length and the performance and the volume and dimension they throw the ESTs at her she just wants to get a little too open up through her shoulder um, when you study her right there at the top side if we could just gather that up I love the power and dimension and the volume that that female has all the way throughout that's really impressive the way she moves about the ring for as much volume and dimension she carries at this stage of the game young ladies have her coming out here and forth just a really nice solid complete type cow for this young lady one that's uh, uh, you can't pick a, a huge hole in in any one area. She's got that longer teat on that one side. Maybe just wants to get a little shallower in terms of her heart and forerib when you study her there, but one that's a deep body type of individual there. Just a really nice, solid, complete female. Young ladies have her coming out next. You'll love the shape this one has. As shapely as any when you study her out here in the ring. She just wants to toss those hind legs when she sets them into motion there. If she could just reach with a bit more comfort and ease and flex and comfort. Uh, you love the body shape that this one has and the sheer muscle shape. Uh, really, really impressive while still looking feminine there from the side. And young ladies have her rounding out the class. We love the length of body that this one has, uh, the, the body shape that this one has there as well. She just wants to get rounder in the use of that hip and hind leg, a little tighter in that pass room when you set her into motion. Really, really high quality set all the way throughout in that class. Tough, tough one there. Let's give them all another big, big round of applause.
Wow, what a pair of females we have here in the limousine ring. Uh, the heifer I chose to start off this class with, I think, is one with just a tremendous amount of shape and dimension to this one. Really round rib, deep from the side when you look at her. I think that's one with a ton of product in terms of muscle down her top. A big old style hip hitter, really wide from stifle to stifle, but you study that one at the ground. Extremely good footed, good boned individual. That's just a very easy class winner for me. That's my kind of cattle. The next heifer here really cool in terms of her front one third one with some shape got some look to her maybe a little frailer to ground than what our class winner is but a very very high quality heifer here coming out in the second hole congratulations Over in your Shorthorn show at this time, we are bringing back all of our division champions and reserve champions for our judge, Mr. Callahan Grun, to select his grand champion, Shorthorn female. Returning from the late spring heifer calf division, we have entry 1956 from Lane Blankenship. The reserve from the late spring heifer calf division, entry 2023, from Sloan Reedy. Coming from your early spring heifer calf division, your champion, entry 1954 from Riley Bivens. The reserve coming from that division, entry 2036 from Callie Turner. Coming out of the junior heifer calf division, we have entry 2028 from Brock David Studer. Your reserve being 1971 from Alyssa Carter. Coming out of your senior heifer calf division, we have entry 2021, Reagan Easton. The reserve from that division, entry 1938 from John McAuliffe. Coming out of your intermediate division, your champion, entry 2003 from Alexa Lane. The reserve being entry 1987 from Emma Helsinger. And coming out of the last division, your early spring champion, entry 1986 from Colton Greenhorn. Your reserve being entry 2031 from JC Stutzman. These are your champions and reserve champions in contention for your grand champion, Shorthorn Females. Well, just a single entry here with an April born limousine female, but you talk about one that's long hipped and long spined and extremely sound when you set her into motion. This young lady's got one, I think, that's got a really nice future ahead of her uh, in terms of growth and, and freshness here at this stage of the game. I think a very high quality heifer here within this class. Your results over in your limousine show results for class number three. In first place, entry 4129 from Jordan Marie Jones. Coming into the ring at this time will now be class number four of your division one limousine. We have a single entry in this class, entry 4131 from Tyler Thomas. March-born female here on the limousine side. You gotta love the look that this one gives you from the side. She's excellently presented out here. She's one that uh, just really long-bodied, good-looking female. You love the hair coat that that one's got on her at this stage of the game and the way she's presented out here. But really extended through her front one-third, good and level in her design. Extremely sound when you get her out and go. Just a very high-quality female. Your results for class number four within your Division One limousine in first place, entry 4131 from Tyler Thomas. At this time within our limousine show, we will bring back our class winners for our judge to select your champion and reserve champion Division One limousines.
Well, guys, an extremely, extremely high quality set of shorthorn females over here. I think each one of these division winners that come out here and represent uh, their division, respective divisions extremely well, not only from a femininity and maternal standpoint, but just, just quality uh, all the way throughout, guys. I think each one of them do a really good job. Let's uh, take our hats off and congratulate these uh, juniors and also the breeders and feeders back home on an exceptional, exceptional set of shorthorn females. I appreciate the Shorthorn uh, Association asking me to come out and judge Denver. It's always been a dream of mine. This was this was our closest big show growing up, uh, just growing up across the Kansas uh, border there, and uh, it's always been a dream of mine to judge in the, the Coliseum here, and uh, happy to, to get the opportunity to do that uh, once with those last green seats here. Um, uh, so I'm very thankful to the Shorthorn Association, thankful to my family and my wife and boys back home uh, for taking care of things. We had a heck of a snowstorm, and uh, it was a bit of a challenge to get here. Here, you don't really think you'd have that in Kansas to Colorado, but here we were yesterday trying to get to Denver. But uh, enough about me. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, each one of these heifers, I think, do really good. The young man, the red heifer, that leads off that first division, I think, a really nice balanced one, one that's got some stoutness of feature. I think that managed correctly, this one's going to have a really nice, bright future for this young man into the summer there. You like the stoutness of feature and the balance she has um, in that look right there. Young ladies heifer in the second division really hit me hard from a, a quality and femininity standpoint one that's so elegant through her front end yet still bold bodied and stout featured there as well I think puts a lot of unique pieces together not only for this breed but uh, a lot of different breeds in general I think uh, that one's going to have a really bright future uh, especially for an April that one's pretty woofy uh, at this standpoint and still in great perfect condition there as well young man's heifer here in third uh, her color and her hide coat um, uh, really hits you when she comes into the ring and, and outside of that she puts together a super high quality look there as well as elegant as anything up through her front end. When you study her, you're still bull-bodied and sound enough when she gets out around the ring. Uh, I think she's got plenty enough power when you compare her to the ones out here, um, uh, uh, some of her contemporaries out here as well. Uh, really just a beautiful silhouette on that female. The heifer coming next, certainly just a really shapely individual there, stout-footed and shapely. Maybe not as uh, put together as some of the other ones when we compare it to some of the contemporaries out here, but you like the stoutness of feature and the shape that that one has. Uh, really hard to put one together like that and still keep them pretty feminine. Young ladies, uh, <clears throat> ever coming out of the fall class, certainly just a big bodied, uh, really nicely uh, a, a cow prospect for that young lady. A uh, bull bodied maternal look that she has there, um, really, really impressive. Then the young man's bread, heavy bread that comes out next. We just talked about that uh, high quality deep class there, one that puts together a really, really nice look from the side and still gets out and moves plenty well. I'm going to go out and take one more look at him. Guys, congratulations once again to each one of these juniors, exhibitors, um, from top to bottom. The quality's been outstanding. Uh, hats off to you guys. Let's give them all one big round of applause. Your grand champion shorthorn female comes out of your early spring champion division. That is entry 1986 from Colton Greenhorn. Rolling into consideration would be the reserve early spring champion female. That'll be entry 2031 from J.C. Stutzman. Your reserve grand champion shorthorn female comes out of your second division. That is entry 1954 from Riley Bivens. Well, as we get our first division back out here on the limousine side, uh, I'm not going to go through and explain all these cattle all over again, but uh, four very, very nice class winners and a nice respected second out here. But I think there's one heifer that puts things together in terms of my type of cattle, in terms of quality and shape and dimension. It'll be pretty easy for me to pick a champion, another very high quality one for reserve. Congratulations to these people.